Hi and welcome. This is Eric and today I'm going to show you guys how to import data file to SQL. So I'll be importing um, comma separated files and uh, um, they'll be in here in my folder. I do have a couple files but I just um, upload one or two uh, for you guys. So uh, a comma separated file, it's just a text file, it's a flat file uh, where the entries have been separated by commas and to open you can either double click so for example now and open this employees file and then if you double click on it it will open on an excel file um, this is how you're gonna open. You're gonna see the columns, you're gonna see the rows and the data. That's one way of opening. Um, the second way, um, you can right click on the file and say open with notepad. Okay, so if you open with notepad, you'll see um, data and the columns will be separated by commas as you can see here okay it's loading and um, that's why actually we call it a comma separated file um, i don't prefer this a uh, default notepad um, I prefer Notepad++ and uh, to open a file in Notepad++ you just go here back to your file you right click and say edit with Notepad++ and then you should be able to see your data here you see your columns separated by commas and at the same time you're gonna see data separated by columns so let's go ahead and see how you can import this information to SQL Server database. To do that, you open your SQL Server Management Studio. And uh, if you don't know how to do that, please watch my previous video. Um, second thing, we're going to be importing this data um, to a database. Uh, the database I'm going to importing today, or I'm going to be using today, it's a test DB. And if you don't have a database, you can right click, say new database. And then you can go ahead and um, uh, put the database name and create a database, a new database to import your data. And again, if you don't know how to create a database, um, um, I do have another video. I think I'll put it on, in my description. That way you have it. Okay, so let's continue. So this is the database, as you can tell right now, I don't have any tables here. So I'll go ahead and um, right click and then I'll go to task and then you can choose this import from flat file but i'm gonna go to i'm gonna go ahead and choose import data so that you can see um, um other options so once i click that i'm gonna get a nice wizard here it's gonna pop up and then you can read this information i have read it multiple times i'll just go ahead and click next so be careful here, you see it says choose a data source. The source of your information, see, select the source from which to copy data. So we'll be using a flat file, that's a CSV file. And you can tell here, um, we do have an extension which is .csv. But there are so many other sources you can uh, import. 
um, data from there's Microsoft C, uh, Microsoft Excel we do have SQL Server you can just import data from another database um, and we can see Oracle and the list continues okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and say a uh, flat file source uh, and then hover here and um, file name I just go ahead and browse where I saved my files so let me double check really quick where I saved my files okay then this folder here so I'm just gonna copy and paste here and hit enter so right now as you can tell I don't see anything why because the file type is .txt so I'm gonna either change to CSV or all files if you change to CSV you will see all the files the first file I'll be uh, important is employees.csv I'll just select the file you'll see the file name over here and I will click open uh, once I click open I can go ahead and uh, you see it, um, I can go ahead and uh, um, I'm gonna leave everything as default I'll just go ahead and click columns and uh, um, once I click columns I'll see all my data and you can tell here um, here you see uh, I've checked these column names in the first data row and this is what they're talking about. See this employee number, birth, date, first name, and the list continues. You can even view information here. You can go um, and take a look at all the columns. And um, that's the source, okay? And uh, you can go ahead and double check how many columns you have. So I just go ahead and click and um, do like... Um, edit with notepad plus plus and i just confirm that i do have one two three four five six columns okay and i can confirm one two three four five six so i'll go ahead and click next uh, and again uh, pay attention to uh, the window you're on right now it's asking you to choose the destination specify where to copy the data to so I'll go ahead and say I will copy the data to you SQL Server not a client you're gonna you're gonna have to specify my server name but it already chose it for me and again the database name it is already chosen for me if not go ahead and choose the database you want and if you don't have any database or you didn't create one you can go ahead and create a new database here by clicking new so you have your source you have your destination now go ahead and click next over here to tell me the source and the destination you see we don't have this employees table yet it will be created for you you can uh, edit mappings but i'm gonna leave everything as is you can now the data type is everything as is that's the safest way to do import all the data and i'll show you a different way of doing this we'll go ahead and change this maybe in the second file okay so for now i'm just going to import everything i'm going to leave the type as backer that's a default and the length that's a default i'm going to click ok and you can even preview the data here and you'll see how it's going to be shown and the column names and everything i'll go ahead and click next um, I'm gonna leave everything as default. This is gonna be a run in editor. It's checked. So I'm gonna click next and here I'll get my summary. Uh, we have a source, a destination, and all that information. And um, you can see the new target table will be created because we didn't have any table yet. So I'll go ahead and click finish. The moment I click finish, I should be able to see um, success message and these are the number of rows they are created you can open this file in an excel file 
um, to confirm the number of rows. So everything looks good. If you see a failure somewhere, you're going to have to do it again to correct there. So as of right now, if I refresh my database here, I'll see a table named employees. And I can right click and say select top thousand rows and I should be able to see my data. So this as it is, it's really good, but uh, I prefer to name my table name and uh, my name in a specific way and I'll show you how to. So to rename I like to capitalize my table name or sometimes I use something which is called uh, Pascal a case. So what is Pascal? Pascal is a programming language so this Pascal case comes from a, a uh, programming language, uh, software development background, and uh, um, what it does is it describes it describes the compound word in which the first letter of the word is capitalized. So, for example, human resources, you see H and R have been capitalized, and maybe this the from date um, the word is. Um, compounded and uh, um, you have a capital F and capital D okay and that's how I like to uh, name my uh, objects in the database okay so for example in the place I just got a need to name and then I'm just gonna change this to capital case which is gonna be employees and then I right click I'll go to design view and I'll go ahead and change and I'll give them good naming conversion. So I say this is employee number. And I know, I already know they are up to five characters, so I'm just going to default them to 20. I can just do as the length as 10. With birth date, I'm just going to go ahead and capitalize this. So I'll just name it to birth date. And I'm going to change this to date, data type. Okay. First name, again, I'm going to use this Pascal case, and it will be first name. And I'm going to just say Vaca. Um, I'm going to leave uh, 50 as it is. Um, this will be last name. I'm going to leave as 50. Gender, I'm gonna be gender, and I don't remember how many characters it does have, but I go check here, and it's just um, you can tell it's M and F. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change this, and you can drop quickly drop down, and I can go ahead and say this is just a character, and one letter should be good because it's just M and F, okay. And we do have higher date. So again, I'll change this higher date. And this again, it's a date. Data type. If you don't know what data type is, go watch my previous video. And I also include this in the description of this video. So I'll just go ahead and click save. I'll get this uh, message. And I'll just confirm and say yes. And this data has been saved. So now if I right click and select to thousand rows, I'll see all my column names renamed the way I want and I'll see my data. So I don't want uh, uh, this video to be so long. Um, I think I'll stop here and uh, I'll continue with a different one which I'll show um, how to import a second table and uh, I will use a little bit of or oh, we change these columns before we import the data. Thank you very much for watching this video and uh, today I will show you guys how to import data file to SQL Server. Have a nice day.